Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Wizard Weekly News. I'm your host, Cami Kazian. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And I'm Caden Brost. We start today with some good news. It was a long summer for those who live in Essos Park due to the fires that burned over 200,000 acres near Essos Park. That cost many people their homes and their livelihood. But as always, the students of WHS came through to help out. Mrs. Stoneman's advisory class decided to do something to help those in the fire area by starting a fundraiser and a donation site. The students raised over $500 and had two full carloads of clothes, blankets, and kitchen supplies for those who lost everything in the fires. We talked with Ms. Doman and a couple of her students who said this was a very rewarding experience. So um, we basically came up with this fundraiser one day, like Ms. Doman had this idea when we were doing our online classes, like we weren't in school. She thought it would be a good idea to help um, all of like, the victims of the Estes Park fire, so we set up a fundraiser to collect money, canned foods, blankets, clothes, literally anything that people would lose in their home to a fire. Um, so that was like really fun, especially to get together as like an advisory class um, and see each other in person for once since we weren't able to see each other during that time, so that was really fun. Probably just knowing that like we were helping people, um, we were helping out families and especially during like Christmas time and like the holidays, um, knowing that we were helping them and that just makes me feel really good. We are proud of our Wizard students for helping out when needed. Thanks to Ms. Doman and the Doman Advisory class for stepping up to help those in need. In other news, speaking of stepping up to help out, Ms. Murphy's choir class have been hard at work practicing for their upcoming concerts. Due to the COVID social distancing rules, concerts in the auditorium are not an option this year, but that doesn't mean that all of their practicing will be for nothing. Ms. Murphy has teamed up with Mr. Voss's Video Production 2 classes to create a visual concert so the choir students will have a performance this year. Mrs. Murphy has more about the upcoming concerts and where you can see them. Yes, this year is interesting since we can't do it in person. And so all of the choir students are actually recording everything from their living rooms from their bedrooms with their iPhones and what we do it's it's quite a lengthy process where we stitch all of their voices together digitally and um, it takes it, it takes a lot of hours to stitch that together digitally but it's really really cool um, we just got one of the end products back and it sounds amazing Ms. Murphy is also looking to expand the choir program here at WHS and would love for anyone interested to join the choir, even if you think you can't even sing. I would say that if you can walk, you can dance, and if you can talk, you can sing. So um, I've had a ton of people come in, people that, I've, that have taken voice lessons with me before who have said, man, my, my mom told me I was tone deaf. They say I would never sing. And by the end of the semester, they're singing. So come one, come all. Um, and if you're interested, you can just email me at amy.murphy at weldari4.org. In addition to the choirs finding a way to perform for an audience, Ms. Estrada has done something similar for the thespians at our school. While there will be no plays this year, Ms. Estrada has put together an improv showcase for our WHS students to show off their talents. Abby Anthony and Sophie Rogowitz have more information. Mrs. Estrada manages the newly established Improv Showcase. The members gather in the theater room and in Mrs. Estrada's room. The Improv Showcase has meetings on Mondays and Tuesdays after school for about an hour and a half with a hopeful, fingers crossed performance mid-February. Um, we have a variety of students from 9th through 12th grade, mostly 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Um, there are about 15 to 20 students on stage and about eight students backstage. Right now, they are planning the set for, well, not planning, but they're building the set for the showcase. It has to be a very neutral set. It will be an interesting change of pace for students who are used to the school play and following a strict script and stage cues. Everyone will be on the same starting line for this one. Needless to say, it will be a stressful transition considering the nature of the program. People participating are not allowed to get within close proximity of each other and must wear masks the entire time due to COVID restrictions. 
Uh, I think it's a really good opportunity to kind of like build our skills as actors because we have to kind of practice like not knowing what we're doing at all and it's also like really fun so. The improv showcase is at maximum capacity but there's a certain joy in watching heartfelt effort. We'll follow up with a report when February comes around so keep your eyes peeled. Hey everybody, I just wanted to let you know that Sources of Strength is going to be running a campaign starting next week. What we are doing is helping students figure out who the trusted adults in their lives are. So at the student entrances we're going to have these little cards to hand to you and you're going to give this to a trusted adult in your life. And then you're going to snap a selfie with them, tag us on Instagram, and then get entered to win tons of prizes. There's Starbucks gift cards and the hope is that we'll have some cash or a gift card to give to one grand prize winner who can take a special someone or a friend out for Valentine's Day. So lots of good prizes, lots of, you know, hats, frisbees, all sorts of good stuff, as well as some cash prizes, which we know you guys love. So next week, be looking out for these at the entrances. A reminder that next week, the scheduled B sports season kick off with boys and girls basketball, wrestling and girls swimming, all beginning their competitions. We will update the progress of our teams next week in our sports sibling. That's going to do it for us this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.